for a minute, if you will, because I have a, a breaking guest, which I want to get to right away on Capitol Hill. It's uh, Republican Senator Tom Cole from Oklahoma, who's kind enough to join us. Uh, Congressman, excuse me, uh, Tom Cole from Oklahoma. Congressman, thanks for being with us. I'd like to get your initial reaction, not only to what the Supreme Court just delivered us, this non-decision which binds us to the Fifth Circuit uh, decision, effectively wiping out that executive action on immigration by the president, and then the president's uh, reaction to that. I'd like you to weigh in. Well, I certainly am pleased that the president's executive action was not affirmed. Frankly, to me, this is just as much a constitutional question as it is an immigration question. The president lost both lower court decisions, and there's no question had Justice Scalia been alive, he would have lost this decision. Uh, so uh, I think this also shows that uh, uh, probably Leader McConnell was awfully wise when he said, let's let the American people actually have a voice in this in the presidential contest. But uh, I think, uh, I think uh, we're fortunate today we didn't see an expansion of presidential power. Uh, and uh, hopefully uh, in the fall we'll have the kind of election where, uh, again, uh, the executive is, is kept in check. But, but uh, I, Congressman, the, the, the issue here is that you are supposed to be that American voice, and it has been stymied over and over and over again in our houses of Congress. Uh, the president saying that his executive action was because of that. Now, with that out of the way, it's back in your court. The president even said that, and you just heard David Chalian say it, that Congress can only ignore America for so long. He said this is not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So, uh, I, Congressman, like when, of, when, when? In terms of immigration, well, uh, when Congress reaches consensus, there's not a timetable on that. I have always argued that I'm not a big believer in comprehensive. The first thing you need to do is regain the trust of the American people, and that means establish border security, which we clearly do not have. The second thing you ought to do is make sure we have employers that are systematically and deliberately hiring people they know to be here illegally, that they're punished. And finally, you try to work uh, with the people that are here, but have by and large played by the rules as to how you reach an appropriate legal status. But uh, amnesty would not, for me, be the way to do that. Uh, so I think there's a process here. But to claim that what came out of the Senate was bipartisan, look, two out of every three Republicans in the Senate voted against that bill. So it was never likely to pass a Republican House. Uh, and on this one, uh, the president uh, was given an offer by then Speaker Boehner, Leader McConnell, after the election, which he lost, where he lost the majority, sit down and work with us. Instead, you had this uh, provocative issuing of, um, of executive actions, which frankly uh, set us back. It didn't help uh, solve the problem. It got us into court, and the president's consistently lost there so far, uh, and basically stymied any uh, ability we had to deal with the issue. I think the president likes to use this as a political weapon. Uh, if he was serious about immigration reform, he would have done what he, uh, what he promised when he ran in 2008. He said he would have an immigration bill on the floor within 100 days. Had two years, never submitted one. Never submitted one the next two years. But it's always convenient around election time to use this for Democrats, and I think that's what we've seen. So I want to ask you the next question, but I, I'd like to, to base the contours, if I could, first with a tweet that's just come out from the presumptive Democratic nominee, Hillary Clinton. She said, today's heartbreaking SCOTUS immigration ruling could tear apart five million families facing deportation. We must do better, signed H. So, Congressman, I guess the question uh, for you would be, the president has said that, that the kinds of people uh, that shouldn't be here aren't the families uh, who've been here, are, are working hard, raising children, et cetera. But we're talking about you know, somewhere between four and five million people. What do you think should happen to them? I think the first thing that should happen is we should set up a process where we begin to address this legislatively. And to me, piecemeal makes a lot more sense. I think well, the American people are pretty compassionate and generous. Uh, and, uh, and I think if they thought their borders were secure and their laws were being enforced, they would look with compassion on the people that are here, uh, have arrived illegally, but have basically played by the rules. They're not interested in dividing families. They're not interested in mass deportations. They are interested in making sure their borders are secure, that we do not have our own businesses acting as magnets for folks that are traveling here illegally, and that folks that have broken the law you know, do uh, at least go through background checks, have English, uh, you know, perhaps pay some sort of fine. But there's some sort of recognition that, you know, this country is pretty generous in terms of legal immigration. We accept more legal immigrants by far than any other country in the world. Uh, so you don't uh, let people break the rules with no consequence. You just invite more of it. Uh
Congressman Tom Cole, I appreciate you taking the time. Thanks so much for uh, for joining Thank us you, today Ashley. on this break.